7 Storm Vision HD to start you off on this Monday. It's a universal question. How's the weather? Every town needs a weatherman or meteorologist if you're using the technical term. But what does it take to make a good one? KPLC's weekend meteorologist Jeff Jumper sat down with Inside McNeese to tell the public exactly what his job entails. We come in, we sit down, look at the forecast and find out the big picture. How can we take this information and get it to the viewers as simple as possible but still hold up to those levels of being a scientist and, and really try to educate the public. The path to becoming a meteorologist is open to McNeese students, but the journey would take them beyond our hallowed halls. Dr. David Archer, the head of the physics department, informed me that McNeese only lists one course in meteorology and says that in the eight years he's been here, Physical Science 202 has never been offered. Not to worry though, Jeff Jumper is almost positive that classes offered here at McNeese can very likely be transferred to colleges offering majors in meteorology. Those curious can find a list of possible colleges at the National Weather Service's website. A quick Google search for meteorology schools can help guide the way. The opportunities for a career in meteorology are varied. Anything from an engineering meteorologist to a researcher for NASA is possible. But if broadcasting is what you're looking for, the ability to speak well on camera is key. Luckily, a new class will be offered during the spring 2010 semester called Voice. Its teacher, Patrick Lusser, gave a few hints on how to deal with the pressure. You have to be able to make fun of yourself. Uh, you can't take yourself seriously. If you take yourself seriously, then you're not giving yourself any leeway for any kind of mistakes that might happen. Uh, also, if you don't, or if you can't think well on your feet, you're not going to perform very well either. Jumper adds that one thing that helps is to use visual aids. I use my graphics to tell the story, and I put graphics into my show. I set my rundowns up uh, in a manner that allows me to tell that story, just like someone reading off a prompter. Each graphic that pops up prompts something in my mind, one or two big points that I want to bring out of a graphic. Whether you wish to focus on the broadcasting sides of things, or you're more inclined to working behind the scenes as a researcher, meteorology has much to offer those students who are looking for a future career. With your forecast, I'm Sean Herndon with Inside McNeese. Good night and good luck.